Hello and welcome. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a simple app with the Django web framework. So let's get started. So, firstly, we're going to have to make a project. So, actually, no. Firstly, we're going to have to install Django. So, I'm on Linux, so I will use pip3 and install like that. If you're on Windows, you should use that. If you're on Mac, same thing as Linux, I'm pretty sure. If that doesn't work, try pip, just pip itself. Pretty sure there's also this. So if that doesn't work, try that command. Okay, so let's get started. Let's create an app. So I'm assuming you just installed Django. So yeah, just do that if you haven't yet. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna start project. Yes, start project. And I'm gonna call it my site. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then you will have a folder with the name you chose. So I'm going to go into that. You should have two files, manage.py and the name of your site. So now we're going to have to create an app. So an app in Django is kind of where all your code goes for certain things. Like, I don't know, if you're making a poll app or poll website or whatever, the poll part would be where it, the poll app would be actually where the code is. So I'm going to make this website, well, site, a little, it will tell you a story from some input, like your name or something. So firstly we should probably test if it's all working because it could have broke in some place. Well, yeah. So this will start a simple um, development server so that you use during development. You shouldn't use this server during um, production or any like when you release it because it's not as stable as a proper web server like Apache or Nginx. So we'll start that. So it should start and this will actually be the URL to your um, thing on your local machine so no one else on another network will be able to see this. If you've got like no firewall, like Windows it will probably ask you to allow the firewall or something. But Linux, since I don't think, yeah, I don't have anything, I don't think, on this machine. So it will just allow it. So I'll open up my browser here. Go to this. Uh, and there we go. This should come up. If it doesn't, like there's an error or anything, then maybe try and reinstall Django or try to recreate your app. If that still doesn't work, just leave a comment in the video and I'll help you with that. Okay. So now I've see that it's working correctly. You can clear the screen. Now let's start by creating an app. So, and then I'll call this short story. Yeah, short story. So now we should have the directory short story. So I'll enter that. Also, I'm using the terminal, but you, if you're another or you're more used to using like a I don't know, file explorer or something, you can use that, because, yeah, I just like using the terminal, it's a bit quicker. So, now you have all these files, and, you sh yeah, you should have all these. If you don't, maybe just run it again, or something like that. So now, now I've got that. Now we actually want to put some code in. 
So I will open views.py. So now that it should look like this. If you're on a newer version of Django or older, hopefully you're on a newer one or the same. Um, it should look like this. It was a little different than I should by then made a new video, so yeah, check it out if it's the future. Okay, so we're going to actually want Django.h import h response. So this will allow us to respond, well, send data to the browser. So I'm going to call our function index. So this is this request here is basically an object with all the request data. Like, for example, if it's a post request, a get request, the get data, the post data, and all that multiform, it's got a lot of information that we can use. So I'm just going to return hello world. If I can spell world. Okay. So there we go. So this will return hello world, but not yet. So don't run your um, server yet. So now we also need to change another file. So that's, but we don't have it yet. So I'm just going to create it. Urls.py. You can create it any way you want. You just need a. Oh, that's a directory. Here's a pie. Actually, want yours. There we go. Yep. There we go. So I'm gonna open that. So I've got a bit of a cold today. So. Okay, we're gonna need URLs import path from import views. So this views is here. So this is where we get this from. So I'll just save that. So we're gonna have to make a new variable. And this will make it the actual root. So for example, when you do a URL, I'll get the browser, like this, this will basically be this. But for example, if we want short story, if I can type, then we would put short story. I'm just gonna leave it blank for now views.index, so this is our function here because it's in the views file and it's the index function then we give it a name, I'm just going to call it index there we go, now we can save that now we actually have to add this um, this URL's configuration to the actual root URL's configuration so we leave this directory, we go into the site um, directory, then you should see uh, one called urls.py in here as well. So this is actual um, the actual um, root configuration for the URLs. So we're going to make another one. I'm going to put this at story then we have to include the short story dot urls since we're using this include function we need to include this from here so this will include our urls dot pi from short story make sure we have that Okay, so now I can close that. And now we can run. Actually, let's. 
run the server. And as you could see, I actually put it at short story because I'll go back to that actually. Oh, I'll just open a new tab. CD my side so as you can see I put it at short story so all the URLs will be short story slash and then the other configuration that we put in the other um, one so in the URLs pattern so I can close that open the browser then we go here hello world so okay now we want some more functionality to our app it's a bit boring at the moment so I'm gonna go here delete this code we're gonna have a try or well, we have to try and catch if there's an error or something so I don't know if you've heard of it but there's something like get requests so for example I'll open my browser so like for example this would be a get request and there's parameters like a function almost so this is a parameter and yeah this doesn't have any functions but this is a parameter so this will hold data and then we can use it so if we want to actually have because we want to be able to have user input in a way we should use a form but for today I'm just going to show you how to do it like a simple way so we're going to have this parameter here so to get get request data or parameters or anything you do that so the name of the parameter so that's name for us and that's it so we're going to return he response we're going to format the string so that we can have the name parameter a an apple with his friend Jim and then we're going to have to because if this is actually not supplied it's going to give us an error or will it return none we'll just accept anyway then there was an error and there we go so uh yep there it goes it automatically reloads once we have changed anything so Joel ate an apple with his friend Jim so there we go as you can see it also shows you like the type of the request and then all that here so that is all for today um, I will be probably doing some more tutorials with Django further on if you want any specific tutorials comment in the video and I'll do them and yeah so thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next video have a great day